For the longest time, Rocket League was widely considered to be a hacker-free game. Outside of small advantages such as seeing opponent boost amounts or a ball prediction indicator, hacking Rocket League couldn't give a player any meaningful competitive advantage. Rocket League held this hacker-free reputation for more than seven years. However, in a matter of two weeks, that reputation was completely destroyed. very specific, very calculated. It doesn't move like a human, it moves like a bot, right? It does look like someone has figured out a way to deploy Nexto into rank. Normally at Atom, they have about six different things that really make it kind of obvious that this player is not real. I don't want to play bot! Wait, dude! Oh, oh my god! This is an in-game, all-star difficulty Rocket League bot. Despite being the hardest difficulty bot Rocket League has to offer, its skill level is no higher than that of a bronze player. This is part of the exact reason why Rocket League is so difficult to cheat in. The game is so freeform, it's practically impossible to create a bot that could rival players with even amateur level experience. And although that was believed to be true for a while, even early on, a small dedicated community within Rocket League was convinced otherwise. At some point in 2017, a community of Rocket League fans called RLBot was created. Here, players with various levels of coding experience would create their own Rocket League bots using all sorts of different approaches. And it wasn't long before multiple members created bots that could easily beat the built-in all-star bots. Because realistically, that isn't that high of a bar to meet. As an added level of friendly competition, they also ran frequent tournaments where the best bots of the community would go head-to-head -head in a huge bracket to crown the best Rocket League bot in the world. After more than three years of this friendly competition, continually pushing each other further to improve upon themselves, the best bot from the community could finally compete with the skill level of gold. That's it. A huge improvement from the bronze level in-game bots, but it just goes to show you how, when it comes to Rocket League, a computer is no match for human skill. Until one day. In 2021, a few members of the community decided to try a method of bot coding that hadn't been successful yet, machine learning. Until this point, the bots all these creators had made had to be manually coded what to do in certain situations, which by nature made the potential of these bots very limiting. But if they instead used machine learning, they wouldn't have to be taught manually. Instead, they would gain the ability to learn on their own. You have some kind of mathematical network, usually called neural networks, that are modeled somewhat like a human brain. And you look at how this bot performs, and whenever it does something good, you basically try to increase the math parameters that led to the good action and decrease the math parameters that lead to a poor action. The idea of applying machine learning to a Rocket League bot was thought to be impossible for so long because although the potential for machine learning bots is through the roof, it would take roughly 100 times longer for a computer to learn how to play Rocket League than it would for a human. And that is essentially because of this. This is what it looks like when a computer learns Rocket League for the first time. On its own, it's completely unreasonable to wait weeks or even months just for the bot to learn how to move the car properly. So for years, no one really bothered exploring this method that deeply. But fortunately, with the help of a new tool called RL Gym, months of training quickly turned into hours. The creators of this tool, RL Gym, figured out a way to simultaneously run multiple instances of Rocket League at a higher speed than normal, all for the same bot to learn from. So you could run like 10 instances of Rocket League, each at like 100x speed up, and you can achieve a thousand hours of training within one real hour. Suddenly, it became perfectly reasonable for a machine learning bot starting completely from scratch to learn the fundamentals and keep up with those that were hard-coded manually. Before long, the first bot of this type from the community was released. The bot's name was Element. Its expected rank was somewhere around Diamond. The machine learning method alone raised the skill ceiling of bots drastically. Considering this was just the first one to be completed, and it was already many ranks better in skill than three years worth of perfecting hard-coded bots, it was pretty clear that this had huge potential. 
With the great success of Element, it was no surprise that there would be new machine learning bots released following it. The next in particular was a bot named Necto, which once again pushed that ceiling even higher by implementing a new training strategy. Instead of being trained exclusively in 1v1 like Element was, Necto was trained in all competitive modes so it could further explore and take more risks without being punished. All offline, just training against itself of course. After about 30 days of real-time training and 30 years of in-game training through RL Gym, Necto was now the new king of Rocket League bots, this time with a new skill level of champion. A video from Rocket's Ledge showcasing Necto in a 2v2 match against two real champ players confirmed the bot's skill level. The rumors are completely true. This video right here was the first instance where the revolutionary improvements of Rocket League bots reached the greater Rocket League community. Suddenly, this improving technology was on a lot of people's radars. Uh, by the way, who created Necto? Um, I believe the main person behind it is a um, developer known as uh, Rolf. Hi, I'm Rolf. I'm the creator of Necto. I decided to make Necto because I saw a lot of potential in machine learning bots after Element was created. Eventually, when I thought Necto was ready, I entered it into one of the RL bot tournaments and it got first place, beating Element in the finals. While we were still working on Necto, we had a ton of ideas for how to make a bunch of small improvements. So we put those ideas into a brand new bot, started from scratch, and uh, eventually that became Nexto. This version two that Rolf is talking about here, Nexto, had to be one of the biggest Rocket League trends of the year by far. Nexto trained for about 350,000 hours or 40 years and about two months real time. Once Nexto kind of peaked in skill, we, uh, we had tested it and we knew it was around uh, Grand Champ level. When you say Rocket League bot before Nexto, you would normally think of the bronze level all-star bots that were just built into the game. So when it started to become known that there was a bot out there that could compete with the top 1% of the player base, that blew people's minds. Rarely, if ever, do you see a specific idea swarm the community the way Nexto did when it came out. It seemed like every creator was making content about it and talking about it. I know I did. Looking back on it now, it's kind of worrying how this technology that we once thought was impossible was now being shown to us right before our eyes. But no one really thought of it that way at the time, which is kind of fair. At the end of the day, the only thing you could do with Nexto was play with or against it through the RLBot GUI. Well, that ended up being true for about six months. On January 1st, 2023, a Reddit user posted a clip in which they believed to have played some sort of bot in their ranked 1v1 game. Upon further inspection, it appears to be completely true. The inhuman dribble control, odd emphasis on flicks, and perfect reaction time are all hints that point toward the conclusion of this not being a human player. Some replies to the original post share similar experiences recently. Something is definitely going on here, but how? Because of the opponent's unique name, Nice Flick, it already draws up a few red flags. On top of that, if you search for this user's rank tracker page, you can find that they were originally sitting at low diamond in 1v1s, but suddenly, within two days, they went up four whole ranks straight up to champion two. Now that's concerning. January 2nd, the very next day, some more users pile on with their experiences playing bots and ranked. The news has spread to Twitter now. Pro player, apparently Jack, tweets about the situation, starting a dialogue, with some players discussing how to take advantage of the bot's weaknesses. Two days later, January 4th, pro player Garrett G tweets out that he played a bot in Supersonic Legend 2v2. This tweet goes viral throughout the Twitter community. Three days later, both apparently Jack and Sunless Khan upload videos talking about the situation. People are starting to realize just how out of hand this whole thing is getting. The tweets, the conversations, the appearances, all becoming more and more common until... The 
The news of bots and ranked hitting TikTok sent the Rocket League ranked system into full chaos. The virality potential of the platform meant that any user could create an account, promote their Rocket League bot, and have thousands of people see it in hours. At this point, it was completely confirmed that the bots invading ranked were all in fact Nexto. Somehow, someone figured out a way to transfer Nexto's code from ROBot and use it to have Nexto play for them in Ranked. Not only that, but they decided to make the code widespread as multiple people sold it through their Discord servers for free. Combine that with the amount of promotion the topic was getting on all platforms at this point, and anyone could easily search Rocket League Bot Hack on Google and get a grand champion ROBot playing for them within 15 minutes. Now, combining that with a plugin that already existed, which automatically queues matches when a game finishes, and a player could be gold when they go to bed, leave the bot running overnight, and be grand champion by the time they wake up in the morning. This is exactly how many players did it. I was queuing at like 4 a.m. once, and it was literally three bots in a row, different players, nobody real. To show how unprepared Rocket League was for a situation like this, if you wanted to report a player in your match, cheating or hacking wasn't even a report reason at this point, which is honestly understandable. I mean, seven years of no true game-breaking threats, and then within two weeks, full-blown chaos. There's not a single person in the world that predicted exactly how big of a deal this turned out to be. I was definitely worried pretty much in Rocket League only about cheats that are machine learning based, but I never expected it to go that quickly. We always knew that it was technically possible to do, but the scale of it was not expected at all. Eighteen days after the first Reddit post, the developers of Rocket League finally made a statement about the situation. Along with it came the news that action has been taken on the accounts running bots in-game. Some screenshots on Twitter show what the players received, a very clear explanation for the ban reason, as well as its permanence. This ginormous wave of bans meant that players would no longer run into bots in ranked, which is exactly what happened. Looking back at those TikToks promoting the cheat, they've clearly taken the loss. The comments are filled with people saying they got banned. No one seems to be promoting it anymore, and the original accounts are even admitting it. It's all over. But those 18 days aren't just to be forgotten. For now, and indefinitely, ROBot is prohibited from releasing new bots of Nexo's caliber. So while they do have bots with even higher potential in the works, after these events, it's likely that the public won't ever get to experiment with them. Additionally, in the statement, the developers mentioned that they added cheating as a report reason back into the game, and that they're currently working on anti-cheat functionality to be added later. This sounds like great news on the surface, but opens up a whole new category of issues. One user replied asking about what this means for the future of Bacchus Mod, which is the most widely used Rocket League tool that many notable people in the scene depend on. And while they didn't confirm or deny that Bacchus Mod will have a place in the future, their response is considerably worrying. I can say for sure that most Rocket League creators depend heavily on the existence of this mod. This video you're watching now, along with most of the others on this channel, wouldn't even be remotely possible without the cinematic tools that Bacchus Mod provides. So while this is where the story ends for now, the lasting effects of those 18 days have yet to be determined. All we can do at this point is hope. Thank you for watching.